actually, you know, this is a very good one. And when looking at, when you're looking at racing and how you're going to do a vector and the addition. So you're on the relay team, right? Somebody's running like this way. You got to be able to meet them. Okay. So let's go and look at it. Let's say we have two vectors. We'll call the u vector, not dealing with the unit vector. We're just going to call a new vector u. u1, comma, u2. Then I have another vector, v. v1, comma, v2. And let's say, I don't know, I'm bored on a Saturday night, and I want to add them. Yes? Yes, those are both u's. Yeah, I'm a little bored. Maybe I just made dinner. Now I want to go and add some vectors. So I want to say, what would u plus v represent? All right? Well, algebraically, I'll show this to you guys really simply. All right? We can. Yeah, it's getting crazy. Yeah. So guess what? It's going to be pretty basic. It's not going to go crazy. All you're going to do is your initial point and your initial point, you combine. Your terminal and your terminal, I'm not your terminal initial, but your um, your first coordinate and your, your x and your y coordinates, you just combine. So I'd say u1 plus v1, comma, u2 plus v2. So yes, guess what? We're just going to simply, I don't No. No. This is all you have to do to add them. Just take kind of like the x and the y's and just combine them together. Now. It also says to sketch what that looks like. So I do want to make sure I show you guys a visual representation of this. So we're going to keep them in the first quadrant, just to kind of keep it simple. So let's say here's u, and here's vector v. And let's say I want to add them. So if I'm going to add these two, all I'm simply going to do is I'm going to pretty much transpose one to the other. Now remember, u plus v, it doesn't matter which way you add, right? If you say 3 plus 4 and 4 plus 3, it's not going to really matter, right? Yeah. Right? OK. So what I'm going to do is you can transpose. Remember, these have terminal points. What I can do is I can either take u plus v. So you're going to take the initial point of your second um, vector and add it to the terminal point of your other vector. And I'll try to make this as best I can. What I do is I take the terminal or the initial point and I put it at the end of the terminal point of the other vector. OK? How do you know the today? Huh? I just take this initial point and now I sent, they share the same initial point, right? Because they're, same, because they're both component vectors. But then I just take the initial point and put it at the terminal point of the other vector. So is that what you mean that they're For some of them, what we're going to get through, there's subtractions to other stuff we need to do. Or it doesn't matter if you do 3 plus 4 or 4 plus 3, right? So I could also do it this way. And guess what? You're, yeah, you're going to make a parallelogram. And you're going to get to the same resultant vector either way you do it. And the resultant vector looks like this which is u plus v. OK? So just remember when adding, when adding, all right, what we're going to do is we're just going to take one and then just transpose it to the end of the other vector. OK? That's it. Now, algebraically, it's pretty basic, right? But graphically, sometimes it can get a little confusing.